I see some guy running for something in South Carolina, talking to a bunch of people, and he seems pissed. He's imagining he talked to somebody once and told them, nobody owes you anything. And it's you who owes. Think about the people that were suffering for you as they marched and how they suffered. You owe it to them to appreciate what they got for you. And what I see in the broader scheme of things, all of these people that he's yelling at are at the base asking for nothing more than equality. Equality is a living being? No, you cannot hold everything equal that lives. Some things just have to die. It's really, you can say it's not fair. Uh, what's fair? Chaos. They're asking for not so much as equality, but if you accept someone as a human being, it automatically gives them that sense of equality. These people are here living under somebody's thumb. You're supposed to thank somebody and oh, the person that came before you for you living under their thumb and suffering with the fucking grief that goes on. How do you define a human? Well, all you have to do is look at us all. We all walk the same, we all show at the same jobs. There are differences in it, but as we all know, there are greater differences between communities, within communities. There are greater differences within communities than between communities, you know. Everybody's alike in their own way. In the bizarro world, Richie Cunningham is like um, a young Will Smith there. All the same. How do we define humanity? Us? If you can carry on a conversation with someone, talk to them, share ideas, that makes them human. That's all these people want to do, is be able to be seen as human. And everything else works itself out from there because it takes these others to be able to see them as human, to understand that we all are. You take someone else that uh, they can't understand a thing you're saying and everything that comes out of their mouth is just It's like talking to a Tibetan baboon. It may look enough like us because of everything, but you're not communicating. It's an ability to communicate that makes us human. So maybe the people we shouldn't be paying so much attention to outside of defending ourselves Maybe they're the animals. And if upholding your price makes you greedy, I can think of one place where I was once going on a job and I was in no way qualified to do it. I just showed up there, just kind of like Kramer showing up someplace or George acting like he works there. And the money they were giving me, I was like, oh, in my heart, especially seeing what other people were making around me, 
I said, this is way too much. But for me to take less would have hurt the people around me that were worthy of that money because the next guy to show up that was good at it, they'd say, well, the last guy was only making this much. You have to take what you can get. It's not that these people that died before them to get them what they have today is enough. It's not that they're owed. There's not a sense that they are owed something by everybody, including the people that died before them. These people owe something to the people that died before them. That's the payback. You know, I gave this to you. And now I will show you what I can do with what you gave me. Is that asking too much? Do you want everybody to get less than they're worth because one person wasn't worth it and admitted it? Take a deep look inside yourself. What are you worth? Can you admit it?